They would go kicking and screaming all the way. You tip by two. Troy Brewer, the steal, out to Daniel Hicks for the jam, tied at 69. But the Miners come right back. George Banks battling. Inside, goes up strong for the hoop. You tip by two. By three in the closing minute, Rodney Walker. We go to overtime. And in the OT, it's Walker again. This time inside the slashing leader off the glass, New Mexico State goes on for the victory. Aggies broke it open with a 10-2 spurt in the OT. They also increased their lead in the 80-year series between the two schools. St. Bonaventure and Marquette. Anthony Piper had 24 for the winners. Marquette for the game. For young players out there, let's go over some of the passes. The bounce pass, Michael Brown, Troy Brown, Friars down by two. And then you have to be able to swing it on the perimeter. For the open J, Damon Watlington for three, tech by two at the half. Ace Custis with an ace tattoo, and then the nice feed, almost a high-low feed, tech led by 14. And then the baseball pass, Sean Good slams. Virginia Tech wins. Sean Good, who scored 21, said, it was all good. I can't think of a game where we played better offensively. Five Hokies scored in double figures. Canisius Bradley, five seconds of play, tied at 53. Canisius. The school that gave us Larry Fogle, the inbounds, no, and then Craig Weiss puts it up and in. Bradley, playing on their home floor, loses by two. Craig Weiss, the hero, the Golden Griffins, were only one of ten on three-pointers in the first half, but hit five of ten in the second. South Florida routes Coppin State, 75-59. Jerome Robinson scores 24 points as the Bulls playing injured and playing well. Trent had 18 points, including this great move around Chris Kingsbury for the slam. The Dr. Tom's team had the answers. Kingsbury, you saw no D. How's the O? Kingsbury had 19. Closing minute, Iowa up one. Andre Woolridge, the big basket, puts the Hawkeyes up three. Ohio maps out one last play. Geno Ford to tie it. Misses off the front of the rim. Trent's final game of the season, maybe of his college career, and the Hawkeyes, a four-point winner. Kingsbury becomes the highest-scoring sophomore in Iowa history, passing Greg Stokes. The Hawkeyes, in their first NIT appearance, will play Thursday at home for the right to go to the Garden for the Final Four. Penn State shot only 35% won anyway in their first-round game to advance on to play at Nebraska. The two meeting for only the third time in history. Nebraska's strength blocking. Mike Moore. Mikey Moore, the big swat on Glenn Secunda. Nebraska running. Eric Strickland to Moore for the jam. Huskers up 12. But the Nittany Lions turn to the bomb. Dan Earl from way outside got it. Pete Lasicki, the three-pointer. Penn State within one. Under two to play. Earl, great pass to Rashawn Carlton for the layup and the foul. Penn State wins, and they tell everybody about it, 65-59. So Penn State will be Iowa's guest Thursday night, not Nebraska, whose guard, Jaron Boone, said before the game in newspaper reports that he was looking forward to matching up with his former roommate. The only way he'll see him now in person is to buy. Signs a little busy, hard to read. Ace Custis baseline kick to Damon Watlington for three. And those signs belong on cardboard. Then it's Sean Good. Tremendous dipsy do and do it till you're satisfied. Tech up seven. But the Aggies on a 7 0 run. Capped by the Troy Brewer breakdown. We're tied at 61. Time winding down. Still tied. Travis Jackson in the corner. Release rotation. Splash. Big hit. Aggies one last chance. No. Virginia Tech wins. That three was the only shot Travis Jackson hit in the second half, and he would have been on the bench had a starter not fouled out. Troy Brewer led the Aggies with 20. South Florida at Marquette. Jesse Salters with a thump. South Florida just 38% in the first half. Marquette just 22%. Marquette up one at the break. Second half, Aaron Hutchins knocks down the three. South Florida down one. Time winding down. The hand check foul on Tony Miller. Mike Dean is livid. Chucky Atkins at the line with a chance to tie, and he does. And then Atkins for the win. In and out, we go to overtime in OT. The freshman, Aaron Hutchins, the clutch three. And they're moving and grooving at the Mecca. Marquette wins. Aaron Hutchins leads the way for the Golden Eagles with 18. Marquette improves to 20 and 11 and will meet the winner of Penn State and Iowa.